Hi everyone, and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I have a dessert that is going to end this hot summer. Okay, <laughs> maybe not, but because I'm sure we have a few more weeks of hot summer. But y'all, I wanted to bring out this freezer dessert for you. It is a easy peach cheesecake pie. So delicious. We are going to start with making a delicious graham cracker crust. Now, if you don't want to make your own, though I don't know why you wouldn't, you can certainly buy your own graham cracker crust in the store in your baking aisle, okay? But three simple ingredients will make your own crust. Okay, guys, so let's get started on this one. Bring out your peaches if you still have some, which I know you probably do. You're probably trying to figure out what am I going to do with them. Here you go. Okay, so I have 12 regular graham crackers here and now what we want to do is break these up until they're in fine crumb form. Now you can do this with a Ziploc bag and then beat them with a rolling pin if you want. You can crush them with your hands. I'm going to be using my processor here to kind of get the job done a little faster. You can break them up, put them in there. Alright, I'm just going to pulse this until I get a fine crumb. To this, we're going to add one quarter cup of sugar. We're just going to kind of blend this together with a fork. Now I've got half a cup of melted butter that I'm going to pour in and mix until it's all wet. Okay, that looks really good. Now what I'm going to do is bring over my nine inch pie plate and I'm going to pour in my mixture here. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, we're just gonna kind of push it down and spread it out with a fork right now. Kind of even it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is just the bottom of a measuring cup, or you can use a cup, anything that's really flat, and it's kind of rounded on the edges too, and that will help press my mixture down and flatten it down. And you wanna kind of have it go up the sides of your baking dish. Okay guys, this is ready to go in our preheated oven at 375 degrees for just about seven minutes until it gets nice, lightly golden brown. And then I'm gonna pull this out and cool it completely and then we're gonna make the filling. Okay, so to get started with the filling, I'm going to beat with an electric hand mixer three quarters cup of some heavy whipping cream. Let's see. Okay, that is what we were looking for right there. It is a very solid form. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and set this aside and work on our peaches. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is take one can of peaches. Now, I just drained these. These are peaches in water. If you're using peaches in heavy syrup, you can just kind of rinse off that heavy syrup. Now, if you wanna use fresh peaches, that is okay also. You can just chop those up and then we're gonna puree this batch right here into my food processor. That smells good. Peaches and summertime. We are still in summer down here in Southeast Texas. No kidding. That's our puree right there. Look at that. Okay, in a large bowl, I've got 16 ounces of room temperature cream cheese. To that, I'm going to add three quarters cup of white granulated sugar. And then we'll add one teaspoon of some vanilla and then we're going to cream this all together whoops that might have been a little extra vanilla in there just add a little more flavor okay we're going to cream this all together to get a nice smooth consistency okay we're going to go ahead now and add our pureed peaches and mix that all together. OK, 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is take our whipped topping that we made earlier. We're going to add it to our mixture here and we're going to fold it in. Don't mix it in with the, the mixer, okay? Just take a spatula and then fold the mixture into your whipped topping there. So just pull it from the sides and into the whipped topping there. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Okay. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so what I'm doing is I have another can of peaches here that I drained, and what I'm doing is I just placed them on a cutting board, and I'm just cutting them into like little bite-sized pieces. 14 ounce can. Okay, I'm gonna add this to the mixture. And then I'm going to fold this in. Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring our pie crust back over here and we're going to pour this into it. Okay, I'm just going to smooth it out. Okay, I'm gonna place this in my freezer for about two to four hours until we have a solid frozen pie. And I will be back and cut this up for you guys and give it a try. think of my frozen peach cheesecake pie I'm gonna tell you what <laughs> we've already dug into it and tried it because it was looking delicious now I pulled this out of my freezer because it was in there for quite a while you let it sit on top of your countertop for about 10 minutes and then just slice into it and take your bite mmm Okay guys, it is so creamy and so delicious. I love that crust because it just gives it a nice flavor to this and a texture also. It doesn't hurt with all those peaches in there. Okay guys, who's making this one? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay guys, I will see you on the next episode.